Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of my YouTube show. And on my show I review products, uh, DVDs, movies, books, video games, costumes, whatever it is I'm interested in this week. And, um, you know, when I was looking through some of my old books, I noticed I had this book, The Raging Bull. And, um, you know, if you have seen the movie, you might be interested in getting a copy of this book. You know, Martin Scorsese's movie, starring Robert De Niro, you know, co-starring Kathy Moriarty, Joe Pesci, um, De Niro and Pesci, you know, in any any movie they, they're in, they're going to have really good chemistry. You know, those guys, they just work good together. And um, Scorsese, you know, did a good job with that. And um, the writer, Schrader, you know, he did a good job, you know, w with the screenplay and all that. This book is very different from the movie. If you're used to the movie, you know, it is quite different. Um... A lot of the things they fabricated, which pretty much all Hollywood movies based on a true, true story do. I'm not complaining about Scorsese or anything. I'm just saying they do that a lot, you know. Nor am I complaining about the writer, but it's just different. You know, apples and oranges. But if somebody's a big fan of the movie or of wrestling, I mean, sorry, wrestling, boxing in general, they would be interested in this dude's life, Jake LaMotta. And these books, they're not very easy to come by. Um, this specific print I have, I cannot find it right now. Um, I searched on Amazon. I searched all these places for it. Um, I don't see it, so I can't link it on Amazon right now. Um, there, however, there is another version of the book I'm going to link. It's the exact same book, you know, um, all the words, chapters, you know, but it's just different cover, you know. So if you're interested, go ahead, go down there, check it out. I think it goes for about $50. Hey, these books are pretty rare. Um, the one I got, I think it was maybe a year ago or so, I found it on one website. I think it was going for $150 or $200. Any version of this book, like in, in any way, you know, soft cover, hard cover, it's going to cost you some money. Um, but... I, I have never seen this in a bookstore, you know, you know, I've seen it in a, in a few online bookstores, you know, but I've never seen it in a bookstore, so it's understandable why the price is what it is, and it's probably going to get even lower, I mean, go even higher as time goes on, you know, because, you know, these rare things, people just will want to be completists and buy more and more of it. In any event, um, there are a lot of interesting stories in this book that I didn't see in the movie, that I didn't remember in the movie. Uh, there, there's one story, I'll give you a hint here, I mean just a little glimpse of it. This guy, um, Jake LaMotta, he grew up in a real poor side of the tracks, you know. He's 16 or 17 years old at this time in the story. And he decides, you know, there's a guy, a bookie, local bookie, everybody likes, named Harry. Everybody li likes this dude, you know. And um, he's kind of loved by people in, the, in his area there. So anyway, um, Jake gets brainstorms, the idea of brainstorms, um, to get this bookie guy, Harry, that everyone likes, um, himself included. And he, he meets him in a dark alley, you know the end of the week and he grabs a I think believe it's a lead pipe and he just starts beating the guy mercilessly against the skull you know kicking him raining blows down on the poor guy and um so you know frantic he runs back to a social club or some restaurant to meet with one of his friends Jake LaMotta you know he grabs the guy's wallet I believe it was his wallet he goes there and he finds out there was no money in it so not only does he, you know, just totally rain blows on this guy and harm him, but he didn't even get any money from it, which, you know, it's bad either way you look at it. So, um, you know, he's telling his friend about it, and he's saying, oh, I'm so afraid, you know, this guy. Um, I think I killed him. I think I killed him, and his friend's trying to calm him down, and he's saying, what's the matter with you? Why'd you do that? 
So it, it was kind of interesting um, to read that story. But as Jake LaMotta says in the book, he said, I knew one of these days this was going to come back on me. This was going to haunt me the rest of my life. So he reads the newspaper the next day, and there's a, an obituary for this hairy guy. He killed him, Jake LaMotta. And this didn't make the movie. This didn't make the movie. So, you know, years later, you know, he... he um, he keeps boxing, he gets better and better at it, Ramada. And, you know, it's always weighing on this guy's conscience, you know. He was a kind of a, you know, as dumb 16-year-old kid as most people are at 16. Uh, maybe not that that desperate to do something like that or that bad, you know. But um, anyway, this happens and he, he, um, he starts to excel in his career. And then one day, at one of his fights... Who does he see there but Harry, the reported, um, the reported dead bookie, whom he beat to death, and who it was, whom it was weighing on his conscience all this time? You know, oh, I killed the guy. I know it's going to come back on me legally. Um, I think he worried about it spiritually too. You know, it was something that just really nagged on his conscience. So anyway, Harry's there and he's so scared. He thinks he's going to shoot him or finger him to the police or something. So what happens after this with Harry? He goes, oh, Jake. And he's got this big scar on his head. He says, I'm a big fan of yours. He says, can you sign this for me? I remember you from the neighborhood. He never knew it was him that beat him halfway to death, nearly to death. And um, I don't know why they wrote that fake obit obituary for him. Just human error, I guess. And he went all this time thinking he killed the guy. And um, it was like a huge, you know, boulder was lifted off Jake LaMotta's chest after that. But it was such an interesting story. I wish they would have incorporated it, you know. But, you know, Hollywood, you know, it's different. You know, They have different ideas. And like I said, Scorsese's a good director and, um, you know, good writer, good actors, good chemistry. So I'm not complaining about the movie. But if you're a fan of the movie or just of boxing in general, or you're a completist, you want to have something that's not widely in circulation, check out The Raging Bull. It won't be this book, but look under the link I've got here. Um, it's going to take you to another version of this book for $50. Um, you may be able to find this one in some antique shop somewhere. You know, I'm sure I don't have the only copy of it. Um, like I said, last I checked, maybe a year ago, eight months, I don't remember. This was going for um, $150 or $200. I'm sure the ones on Amazon, give them a few years, they'll be up to $150 or $200. Give them a decade, they might be worth $1,000, $2,000. This might be worth a lot more, too, you know. Um, anyway, thank you for watching my video. If you were entertained by it or found it even vaguely informative go ahead and like su subscribe and check out that link i sent um, have a wonderful day and i'll have more videos coming later